The library is still open, but many of the services that many residents rely on are unavailable after hackers targeted the systems of the Toronto Public Library. I think the city of Toronto needs to be concerned about the extent of this hack, as this may be limited to Toronto Public Library, or it may not. I think one thing that's troubling in this is the lack of uh, transparency and disclosure to the public about what the nature of the hack is and how uh, private data, personal information might be impacted by this. It was two weeks ago when the Toronto Public Library first announced that it had been the target of a ransomware attack. The website is down, but the branches are still open to borrow and return books and use the Wi-Fi. However, using public computers and printing are just some of the resources affected by the hack. TPL also says some sensitive data may also have been exposed. The library is just one of many organizations that have been hacked this last year. This is modern day bank robbery, but now in the form of IT and hacked systems. And so what you're going to see is uh, this is a growing trend. Uh, it's going to be more of a problem, particularly as hackers find it's going to be easy money to extort and ransom uh, hospitals, uh, other public institutions like the Toronto Public Library to try to get money out of them. I mean, these, these hacks are done because the hackers think that these are targets that are easily uh, infiltrated and as well uh, as a function of uh, being poorly resourced. City News did reach out to Toronto Police and it said it is aware and is investigating the ransomware attack on TPL. Experts believe that government officials like the province and the city needs to play more of an active role with policies and funding to curb these types of attacks. Well, you have to keep in mind that not all, not all organizations are the same. So banks and large financial institutions are literally in the billions of dollars when it comes to their IT budgets. We're talking about the Toronto Public Library. It's a public institution. And these types of places become targets because they don't typically have the same investment when it comes into IT security. The Toronto Public Library was not available for a comment and directed City News to its website, which stated that the TPL is actively working to establish a timeline for full service restoration, but it's unknown when that will be. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.